What's up you guys, FSC Truck Shop. Well, we're getting ready to not change liners and piston rings. Why is that? Well, a while back I got a lot of crap about trying to cold start this thing and the damage I'm doing to the starter. Well, there is an oil leak from the original injector pump that I never did ever redo. It's still the original pump, so it still does leak a little bit of oil and actually drips on the starter. That and the abuse of the starter. I guess I'm out 300 bucks as opposed to $18,000 because a lot of guys say that I should be using ether to start the engine, which I cannot stand doing that because it takes the oil right off the cylinders, takes the oil right off the rings, hence creates more blow by, and now you need more ether to start them in the cold. Now, I don't know how easy she's gonna fire because I plugged it in maybe about two hours ago. I was filming the removal of the crank in that Detroit diesel. But the starter is completely shot. It won't even try to turn over anymore. If you've seen the last few trucking videos that I filmed when I went down to Jacksonville and back, it kind of slow cranked and then picked up the pace. So it could be a weak battery, but we have plenty of battery power. The problem now is the starter is stuck in the flywheel. So I'm hoping once it tries to move, it'll pop it back out. We're gonna attempt a pull start this thing using my son's Dodge Mr. Beefy the three quarter ton ram with the v10 in it i have had the block heater plugged in for a little bit we're going to use the shop air to go ahead and air the truck up so without further ado and delay let's get started because it's cold and i don't want to change the starter right here oh it's also supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow and that's not good so in the shop it goes all right undo the air air hose from the impact gun and bring the air out Yeah, your laundry gets abandoned here. What? I said your laundry gets abandoned here. Yeah. All right, I'm filming. What I'm gonna do first, boys and girls, is we have to back the whole unit up because with the truck sitting here, we're never gonna get the truck into the shop. So I have an adapter, like so. Hook it to the trailer. And that will air up the trailer and get the suspension raised and the brakes released. drop hitch on it okay so it'll be low so it won't put upward pressure on Orwell's bumper understood it's still kind of tight we won't be ripping and tearing we're just going to be better a little bit oh you saw that or not yeah i know better a little bit i let it swing yeah. right right Put a hook up. Hook this here. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna choke it so it's short. Try not to block the shot. Okay. It, it'll find its own. It'll find its own level. Roll forward until it tensions up. You're not trying to pull it because the truck still got the brake set. Just go forward until she's tight. One more. One more. That's good. Okay. Set brake. All right, hop inside Orwell. Yes, sir. What I'm gonna do, Matt, 
is I'm hooking a pushing air into the trailer supply, okay? okay? You're gonna need to hold the red knob in, okay? Okay, push it and hold. Yes, now listen to me. Yes. There are two air systems in the truck, a primary and a secondary. Yes. Both have needles on one gauge. Let me know one, if any, you're moving. Ready? The white one, right? Correct. Okay. Hold this, hold the red knob in now, right? Yes. Okay. In. Orange two. They're both coming up? Orange only. Okay, let it let it work. Sixty. Only orange? Only orange. Push the yell, release the black, the red knob. What what does it do? Push in. Push in. Oh, I think something broke. What? It came out like way too far and it started leaking air. Push the white. What do we have for air pressure? Push the red knob in for a moment. Push in. Release. Release. It's working. Push in the tra push in the yellow knob. Push in yellow. Did it do anything or no? Yes, it dropped down to the line the white next to 60. Alright, stand by. Didn't say release it. I didn't. Push the red knob in. Push the yellow knob in. Hold both. What's my air pressure? Push it up to 90. It is at 90. It's still going. It's slowing down now. Okay, it's working the brakes, but it's not working the air ride system, which is fine. It's right after 90. The line right after. Hold. Keep holding. Keep holding. What we got for pressure? Right after 90. We checked the pressure on the shop. The shop should get it up to about 120, 130. Pressure to come on. Now it'll juice the whole thing up. Once we're done airing up, then we'll uh, I'll release the air and then we'll charge the trailer with the truck. 120. Yeah, I had the regulator backed off to a hundred. Whole red knob. You may hop out. Leave yellow knob in, it should stay. Huh? Okay, so right now the tractor brakes are released, the trailer brakes are set, but the trailer is aired up. In other words, the airbags are up, so it won't do anything other than release the max. Okay? When I release the trailer, you're going to turn, turn your head, look out, and look at me, okay? I'm going to do hand signals, so I don't waste air, okay? When I wave at you, it means start going. So you go like this out the driver window. Right, when I wave at you again, it means stop. Understood. You're not trying to drag, right? You're trying to go nice and easy. Copy. Did you also start it in reverse? No. No? Okay. Here. 
Understood. That's good. Copy. All right, Rick, set. Put my uh, put your phone away. I know. I was taking it out. Of my, I took it out of my pocket since I was in the truck. Undo my undo my board. Put it under the trailer. We need more well known shot of here. The keys to my Hemi. Which one do? The way. Oh. Put the keys in your pocket, you're clean, right? Can yeah. you move it without moving the seats? Yes. Yeah. Go put it over there near popcorn or something.
flash my lights when you should stop. Copy.